Right, so for today's video, as you can see, I have a PS, uh, PlayStation 4, PS4, to tear down and see what gold recovery material is in it. If you looked at um, my last video, I done a PS3, PS2, PS1, and a Sega Mega Drive to see what kind of boards are in it. And I said that I'd have a, a PS3 or PS4 as well to do, so this is the PS4. I've never taken apart a PS4, so this is my first time doing it. So this may take a bit of effort because I'm not sure where everything goes so I just remove anything I see sticking out like these little things here first just to see if there's anything hidden behind them and there doesn't seem to be uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure you ha you do um, as um, it helps me get my numbers up so that I can get near that 1000 uh, subscribers that I wanted to get to so that I can do um, live streams from my mobile phone if I ever want to do a live stream from my mobile phone I can't at the moment so I'm kind of stuck to the camera and um, and I can't do any live streams unless I set up uh, with the computer but it's in handy if you're outside doing anything. The phone is a lot handier for doing live streams. So if I can get to the thousand subscribers, we'll get onto the live stream. So um, let's see what we do first. More than likely, I'm gonna try and remove this cover here. I'd be thinking there'll be some clips underneath here. Usually, Um, as I say before, scrap is going to be the lowest value you're going to get, so if it is still working, um, sell it for parts if you don't want it or anything like that, don't just scrap it out, uh, sell it on. If it's not working, then, um, then uh, have a look and see what parts may be sellable online, check out eBay or whatever, there may be parts out of it that are sellable. Um, that you can make money out of rather than scrap it out because it's going to be the lowest value you're going to get is going to be from the scrapping. So we have a few screws in here that I want to remove. So this is after I remove the cover, as you can see, uh, we have a, a steel base and there's a lot of screws holding in again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll remove these screws. Everyone knows how to remove screws. So I'll just pause the video rather than uh, drag you on looking at me removing these screws. And we'll come back once I've removed these uh, few screws. So as you can see that screws are all along here. So we have screws down here, screws up here in this corner, uh, more here. So these release the rest of the case by the looks of it. Um, and we can get into the board then and see what type of board it is, see what sort of stuff is on it. So if you haven't already, uh, check out the video that I'll be putting up here in the corner where I've done the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1. And this will be the PlayStation 4, so that's the range of the PlayStation. So it shows you different types of boards, different types of stuff in each one. So as I said, I have never done a PlayStation 4. Um, so we'll see what's inside of it. Okay, so I've removed um, them screws that I've seen there, bar one. There's one there that is a bit awkward, won't so come out. So we'll worry about him in a while. Uh, we'll just have a look now and see what's happening next. So I've removed that screw. Is there anything coming off anywhere else? Is there pulling apart? Okay, so this cover now at the front is coming off, this top cover. So that's just a piece of plastic. So again, in with your plastic. Uh, underneath, let me see, can we see anything down here? A uh, bit of aluminium around here, a big chunk of aluminium, so I presume that's over the, the processor on the board uh, with the heatsink. We have a little connectors, so again, as, as you can see there, uh, they're not actually gold, usually they're a gold colour, but they're, they're not a gold on this one. Um, so I'll just put him aside. Okay, so we have a little aluminium pins here. Uh, doesn't seem to be any any screws anywhere around to be removed. So again, I have magnet there, so that's magnetic. Um, so okay, we'll go back to this side, and we'll see can we remove this part next. Okay, so again, plastic, and we have some more screws here that have to be removed. So we'll just see, can we quickly remove these screws that 
are holding this cover over the actual board itself. Uh, so as you see, some of them are odd sizes, some of them come out straight away, so we just have to see which ones we can remove straight away and then come back to the ones we can't with a different screwdriver. So that, like they've mixed the sizes, they've decided to a couple of different sizes in there, so you have to have a couple of, couple of different screwdrivers for doing it. And so that's, we'll just see, can we get off all the ones that are the same size? First, so I'm just going to pause it again while I remove the rest of them to save you waiting. So I'll just pause that. Okay, so I've removed as many of the screws as I can, but there's still one or two that will not come out no matter what. So I don't know whether they're the wrong screwdriver or whether they're rounded or something like that. So it's going to be a bit of brute force for the rest of it, I'm afraid. So we'll just bend the back first and we'll see what we have once we bend them back on both sides where the screws are. It should give us a bit more access to into it. So. One of them out anyhow. And what I might do is I might get the snips and just snip off the other two, but we'll see if we can get the pliers in around them. So they don't make it easy or I that or my I was unlucky and I had one with a, two bad screws in it. When they were putting them in, they rounded the heads, put them in too forcefully, and rounded them. And we just rock it back and forward there until we loosen it up. So I'll just take it off screen for a second to give it a... Oh, that's it. So we've pulled out the, the silver cover and over the top, which, as you can see, there's still one screw here that doesn't want to come out. Um, I don't think we'll be able to remove them too easy. Have a look. Maybe I'll get this around them and just screw them out. Okay, so that should hopefully release the board. If we can, Let's see where it releases from. Okay, so. So, so far, it's not a spectacular board. So, we'll just put that aside for a second. Um, just have a look here. So, nothing really there again. That's just all magnetic. Um, so, that's just some steel. I'm not going to break that down any further. It's just plastic and steel. Um, we have our fan motor here, which I'll take out later. We'll just get a look at this board. So, on this side of the board, let's set up the camera a bit better. On this side of the board, we've got our little um, IC chips, the flat pack type. So they're just uh, flat packed to the board. There's no solder on the outside. It's all underneath solder balls underneath it. So again, the heat gun will remove them. So if you want to check out some videos where I've done that, I'll try and put a link somewhere up here again for you. So just check it out. Um, we have a few other bits and pieces, nothing major looking at the board. Uh, some tantalums. So we've got a line of tantalums along here. Um, we don't seem to have too many MLCCs on it. On this side anyhow, there's nothing, a little IC chip down here. Um, so all these IC chips, and I've been asked on a few videos, what, what, do, what do I collect these for? Uh, the reason I collect these is when you incinerate these down, and break them down and sluice them off, uh, do all that sort of thing with them, you'll be left with gold bonding wires usually inside of them. So then you can collect the gold bonding wires and use the nitric acid to dissolve them and then uh, bring them back into the gold, you uh, drop them with SMB and then you have your fine gold. Uh, if you do that a few times, you end up eventually getting up to 24 karat gold, uh, then when you melt it. Uh, we've MLCCs in along here, so we have a bunch of MLCCs in here. Uh, that's it. So on the other side then, this is the main processing chip. So this is our main processing chip from 
uh, from Sony so it's their their own chip Sony uh, computer entertainment Inc so that's this brand as their own but they may have someone else making them I don't know um, again with some nice uh, big MLCC's along here so again sometimes the newer ones do not contain any valuable material um, so sometimes you, you can be out of luck with the new stuff but again maybe in a higher grade uh, machine like a PlayStation 4 they might contain something so we'll see when I process them whether they were any good or not um, again we've got our flat pack chips all around which, which will have your gold bonding wires if anyone has uh, processed any of these chips uh, the main processing chip are they are they a good quality for um, for gold recovery let me know in the comments below if you have if you haven't um, done it um, then I'll just have to wait and see if no one has done it I'll have to wait and see myself when I process them if, if it's anything good when I incinerate it and break it down see if there's any gold bonding wires inside of it that's the plan I plan on doing it again incinerate this one down and see if there's any uh, gold bonding wires inside of it a few more big M MLCC's over here some nice larger MLCC's a few more here so another large MLCC there um, some more here crystal oscillator here Looks like crystal oscillator anyhow. Um, then that's really it actually. So this board, I was expecting maybe a bit better out of it. Um, maybe a bit higher grade stuff, but uh, it's kind of mid-grade I'd call it. I wouldn't call it high grade. Um, there's not much, there's a few IC chips here. Mainly IC chips, uh, MLCCs is what I'm looking at here. There's nothing, nothing else of major inside of it. So this will probably be my last video for a few weeks as I'm going on holiday soon um, and that um, I was hoping to maybe get up to the thousand before I went on holiday so I could do a few light streams maybe when I was on holidays, uh, show you what I'm up to, show you where I'm going, stuff like that. But um, unfortunately I haven't got that to it so uh, we just have to video it and upload it when I come back um, and put up a few of my holiday adventures if I see what I get up to. Um, well, just a quick shout out to a few people there who really helped push my channel in the last while. Um, if if uh, if you're uh, new to YouTube and you're looking to build your streams, um, the there's a lot of good channels um, that help do that. Um, there's one called uh, Deer Park, um, Deer Park Farm. Uh, he's, he's does um, a lot. He's a, he's a homesteader. Um, but he also is a network channel networker, so he helps net get channels growing, help them to see each other, stuff like that. So he's really uh, pushed my channel there lately. He's very good. Um, he's a good guy. So if you haven't been to his channel, check it out. I'll try and put a link down in the uh, description to his channel. Uh, Gil Skills is another good channel. He um, helps channels grow. He's also a good scrapper. Um, if you're into, into scrapping, there's Ian Matthews. He's another good channel for scrapping and um, he does a lot of breakdowns, he does a lot of stuff to take away, he also makes stuff. So if you want to check out his channel, he's a very good channel as well. Um, then there's Pusha Studios, which pushes a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of channels trying to make them grow. So check out their channel. Um, and that's kind of really it. Just check out them few channels. I know there's a few other channels there. There's uh, Kins Vlogs, if you want, another, he's another good channel who helps people grow. Um, he's trying to grow his own channel at the same time but he's also good at um, giving shout outs to other channels helping other channels grow so if you want to check him out as well um, so there's a few other channels I know I've left some people out on that but uh, hopefully in the next video I'll give a shout out to them other channels um, but if you're into scrapping um, the best one for scrapping will be probably Gil Skills um, Ian Matthews UK Scrapper uh, there's a few more there that do that do that stuff. Moose Scrapper, I'm sure everyone knows who's into scrap and Moose Scrapper. His channel is very good. Um, so that's really it for this this video. Um, if you want to check out my other, as I said, check out the other one where I've done the the breakdown of the other PlayStations to compare it. So as I said, this board I don't think is as good as um, the PS3. To be honest, Richard, the PS3 had a few um, gold cornered BGAs, which we don't have on this at all. We don't have any gold cornered BGAs. So. The, that would be the P PS3s would probably be better for gold recovery overall all depends on what's inside this chip um, if this chip has the same type of gold as as a uh, CPU would then 
then this this would be the one to go with. Um, I won't know until I remove it with the heat gun first to see what it is and then break it down. Um, you know, I can see some gold little flicks inside of here. Along inside of there, there's little gold flicks. Um, but whether there's much gold inside of that chip, I won't know until I break it down. So if anyone has done anything on these chips or knows a bit more what sort of gold quality be in them compared to CPUs, um, please drop it in the comments, let me know. And um, until I come back from holidays, um, hopefully you enjoy checking out a few of my videos, check out a few of the uh, um, other channels I mentioned. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. It's only a little press of a button for yourself, but it means a lot to me if someone uh, takes the time to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my videos. Uh, it means a lot. So if you don't mind, please uh, just hit the all subscribe button there. And um, till the next video, keep on scrapping. Uh, just before I go, I nearly forgot about the um, underneath this cover. We'll just take off this cover here on it and see what had we underneath here. So, nice chunk of aluminium that is, um, looks like it's soldered to it or something like that. So again, we'll just pry that off. Um, I'll pry that off later, just break these clips off here. This is some sort of band or something over it. Let's see if we can cut that, cut that, and see what it let us into it, or do we? Yeah, that's not going to come off too easy, so I'll leave that yet. Uh, it's just a nice chunk of aluminium. So some screwed in that aluminium, but a little bit of copper going underneath it. So a little bit of copper tubing. So we've got that. And the last item is the fan. So again, we have some sort of clips and a screw just over here. So as well as the gold that we get from the chips and that, we get a little bit of aluminium and we get a little bit of copper from it. Again, we'll have a little motor in here on this fan, which will contain copper. So as they, they all add up, it's a lot easier to find copper and aluminium in items than it is to find gold. So um, don't don't exclude them from your your scrapping. So we have a little bit of copper inside of the motor. So if your scrapyard buys the motors, you can just leave that as it is as a motor for them. So that's it now. Finally finished it. So the PlayStation is finished. Uh, not as good as the PlayStation Three in my opinion. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think the PlayStation 4 will have more gold? Or do you think the PlayStation 3, 2, 1? Uh, is there any co game console you've taken apart that you found a lot of gold in, that you found that you were surprised by the chips, the type of chips that are in it? Let me know uh, so I can keep an eye out for them and maybe do a scrap of that game console if I come across one. Thanks for watching.